Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Monday, October 15th, 2018. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A controversial pro-gay bishop has been dropped from a Minnesota retreat. After outcry from faithful Catholics, Archbishop Bernard Hebda of St. Paul, Minneapolis announced Thursday that retired Bishop Robert Lynch will no longer headline a November retreat for Catholic clergy and parish leaders. As Bishop of St. Petersburg, Florida, Lynch was credibly accused of sexual harassment of another man. In 2016, he made headlines by suggesting that Catholic teaching on homose homosexuality breeds violence towards gays. Cardinal Blaise Supit is welcoming an actively gay masseur to lead an LGBT gathering in its archdiocese. Father Michael Giemann, a member of the religious order known as the Servites and head of the Priory for Our Lady of Sorrows National Basilica in Chicago, is operating a monthly homosexual meetup. On social media, the priest calls himself a gay masseur who does, quote, man-to-man -man body work. He's a member of several gay meetups, including Men Cuddling Men and Nude Yoga Chicago, among many others. The head of Ave Maria University will not be renewing his contract. It was announced last week that Ave Maria University President James Toey will step down at the end of his term in June 2020. The announcement comes six weeks after Tui published a statement on the university website blasting Archb Archbishop Vigano's allegations against Pope Francis as politically motivated, slamming so-called conservative Catholics. Backlash, including several professors who threatened to resign, led to removal of the statement. Ireland will be holding a national vote on whether to remove a blasphemy law in the Irish Constitution. This Friday, Irish citizens will vote on Article 40, which outlaws publishing content that blasphemes God. The Irish bishops have no plans on putting up a fight. Ireland's constitution is unique in that it grants favored status to the Catholic Church and upholds the primacy of marriage and the family. The remains of 11 babies have been found in the ceiling of a Detroit funeral home. Investigators discovered the bodies Friday after receiving an anonymous tip informing them that the bodies were in a box hidden in the ceiling. Closed in April, the Cantrell Funeral Home was cited for numerous violations, including the improper storage of human remains, some bodies found decomposing in the mortuary. Investigators have determined the funeral home participated in gross negligence, deceit, fraud, incompetence, and dishonesty. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about faithful Catholics on the offense. And check out the download. The panel discusses Cardinal Supich's lost credibility. God bless you.